All right, what's up guys? We're out here at the Operation 300. Oh, look at this handsome devil right here. Look at that guy. It. Two and a half hours of driving. So we're out here at the Operation 300 uh, Archery Tournament. Uh, this is a really cool organization because uh, basically what they do is um, they offer support to kids that have lost their fathers. They try and um, do activities with them uh, that their father figure would normally do. So uh, this is really exciting for us. We love seeing kids get into the sport. So uh, we're just here to support and have some fun shooting with friends. So uh, we're gonna take you guys along for the day so you can see what it's all about. A big deer and he didn't even go 30 yards oh my god <laughs> that's the first buck i've ever shot Woo, what a rush money that deer is dead tagged out baby <laughs> you shot one yeah hell yeah dude. i saw him go what? down What up, Playa? What up? What up, man? You guys ready to lose some arrows? <laughs> I hope so. I had Brandon bring me extra ones just in case. The man, the myth, the legend. Thank you. Thank you. Yep, they're gonna write over here. All right, I'll try to be loud. Um, I'm sure many of you know what Operation 300 is and what we do, but I'll try to briefly uh, explain how we started. Um, so uh, on August 6, 2011, there was a shoot down. Uh, my brother-in-law was in that uh, helicopter. It's called Extortion 17. On that day, 30 men were killed in action. Um, 60 kids lost their father in that one shoot down. And out of that, my wife looked at our niece and nephew and who would have taught our niece and nephew what Aaron would have taught them as a man. And so she had the idea of doing adventure camps for Gold Star children. And so we started that 10 years ago. Um, and now today we're on this beautiful property of 20 acres. That is our property that we host kids in for camps. We pair them with a male mentor. Um, and we do stuff like shooting uh, archery and shooting guns and uh, taking them out fishing and doing sailing and playing camp games and all sorts of cool stuff that we do with the kids. They stay out here on the property. Um, and we usually do about seven camps a year with 40 kids at each camp, flying the moms and kids in all free of charge. So all the money that's raised today is gonna go back to Operation 300 and bringing these Gold Star families here to just put a little life back into these kids that have lost their fathers, which is amazing. Please give yourselves a hand for being out here today and helping raise money for Operation 300. And I am going to do a slight plug for male mentors. We're really growing that group of guys that come out here and give their weekend up to spend time with the kids. If you are interested in that, we would love to have you be a part of that. You can go on our website, which is op300.org, and go under, under volunteer, and you'll see to apply for camps and get fingerprinted and all that sort of stuff to come out here and be with the kids. We'd love to have any of you guys involved in that, okay? Um, thank you guys for coming out today. I know it's going to be a great shoot, but before I turn it over for prayer today to Mark, uh, I just want to give Daryl and the whole team a huge hand for putting this together. Daryl, 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 Daryl. First arrow of the group. Five. That's a kill shot, though. You know, in about six hours. in about six hours. <laughs> All right, so we're at the uh, first target of the event. Are you guys supposed to be shooting from the stake here? I hope everybody shoots straight. Oh, from straight. there? Yeah. Flag. <laughs> and Danny's already cheating. <laughs>
touching. That's a 10. Yeah. So two tens for you. No, it's an eight. But thirty-two. Whatever it is, you killed it. Mark got a twelve. I got a twelve and a ten. Got a 10 and Damn, that's about as good as 12 as you can get. Yeah. It's amazing what happens when you actually try to focus. Hey, Joe, what are you doing back there? <laughs> Smoked him. Oh my god, I hit, I thought mine was a 12, I, I hit, I hit 12. low. Oh, I didn't see that one, okay, yeah. I was going to say, I thought I had a 12. The small one's a 10? Yeah, yeah the, middle one, the middle one's a 10, that's still a 10. You basically just ignore the existence of the middle one. And that's 8? Yeah. That's okay, 8, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. So I got a 10 and a 12. I got an 8 and a 12. Alright guys. <laughs> Alright guys, we're out here at the Operation 300, and here we have the great American corn snake, or is it a rat snake? It's a corn snake. Maybe it's a cobra. Maybe it's a cobra. But he is in his natural element. Leave him, babe. I want to touch it. She's going to touch it. He is in his natural element, and we are going to go ahead and molest him a little bit. Oh my god. He's trying. Target is. Oh, there's the target. It's a dead hyena. That is a hard shot, boy. Shot 212. He doesn't even know what he's aiming at. First time. All day. Yeah, I don't think I've done that. I've shot 10s and 12s. <laughs> huh. 
All right, so we're almost through this course. I think how many, we got like three targets left? We got four, including this one, because we gotta go back to- Oh yeah, everybody's down. already done. There ain't nobody around. It's just us. We're apparently really slow. It turns out filming takes a lot of time. Hell yeah. Twelve for me. This is a good group though. Almost all the arrows are in the ten. These victory arrows bury themselves. Here. I don't think so, dude. Did you shoot? <laughs> I didn't count it up, but oh, I thought I had to. I counted mine up. No, you you just give it to them. They, they check it all. How do you think you did? I missed two. Yeah, yeah that's why I only have four arrows. You just got finding yours. I hit every target. Yeah, I didn't miss once. I just didn't. But I didn't hit where I wanted. I didn't tell them that. This guy over here was smoking them. I was shooting really good for like three targets. You do need a haircut again. It's, a, it's this dishonest this German heritage you have. One of these is going to be the winning ticket. It's this one. 497. 497. If that one wins, I get the pot. No, you don't. There it is. Do we have a winner? Woo! Who's got it? Who's got it? A good teacher. <laughs> Second place, Graydon Palmer. There we go, Graydon. I'm noticing a theme here. Yeah, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. First place, Charles Popovich. Woo -hoo -hoo. Good that, job, buddy. that was not yours. <laughs> no, that was not. <laughs> What's going on?
place, Larry Miller. Buddy. All right, one three five zero six eight. One three five zero six eight. Those aren't victory arrows. You guys saw it. It's the winner right here. If you guys need anything done on your bows, go check out his shop. It's Skull Hill Archery in Okeechobee. What's yep. the website? It says Skull Hill Archery, www.skullhillarchery.com. Is it? Go check it out. <laughs> cool. And uh, we're taking this bow to go do a little bit of bow fishing, so stay yeah. tuned for that. Well, there you have it, guys. A lot of fun, a lot of lost arrows, a lot of good memories. On to the next one. Go check out our merch store. Link in the description.